Hello everyone, today we're going to start in the third part of the oxidation reduction reactions and we're going to talk about galvanic cell. Our objectives of our session today is to define a galvanic cell, set up a galvanic cell, explain how a galvanic cell works and write the cell notation and finally state the role of a salt bridge. Let's begin. Definition of a galvanic cell. Galvanic cell, also called voltaic cell, is a device used to convert chemical energy to electric energy via spontaneous redox reaction. A battery is an example of a galvanic cell. So a battery that you use in your everyday life is an example of a galvanic cell where uh, the electric, uh, the, the, elect the chemical energy is converted into electrical energy. That's why it's called electrochemical device. Now, materials of, the galvan uh, of a galvanic cell and how do we set up a galvanic cell? Here we have the name of an example of a galvanic cell, which is ZNCU. Let's see, this is the setup of a galvanic cell. How do we set it up? First of all, we have a solution of zinc sulfate. Okay, a solution of zinc sulfate is made up of SO42- and ZN2+. ZN2 plus has posit uh, positively charged ions, so they are cations, and SO42 minus, they are negatively charged. Okay, now, after this, we dip a strip of zinc inside the solution of zinc sulfate. Okay, of course, the solution of zinc sulfate is placed in a Beaker. Now, in another beaker, we take a copper, solution, a copper sulfate solution, which is made up of S, uh, uh, CuS2 plus and SO42 minus, and we dip inside it a copper strip. Note that the copper strip has a uh, brown color. And the solution of copper sulfate has a bl uh, blue color. Okay, now we connect the two metal strips, as you can see here, by connecting wires. And we associate or we connect, we, um, we p place between these connecting wires a lamp. We can also, instead of lamp, uh, connect an ammeter okay but here we are connecting a lamp so we can know if we have electricity the lamp will glow okay and we associate uh, the two half cells what does a half cell mean here we have this is a half cell the beaker with a solution and a, a strip a metal strip dipped inside is called a half cell so we associate, we associate the two half cells by a salt bridge, which is an inverted U-tube containing NaCl solution, okay? So here we have a salt bridge. It contains NaCl or it can contain KNO3. We will talk about this later, okay? So these are how, this is how we set a galvanic cell and these are the materials of the galvanic cell used used in this galvanic cell which is ZNCU ZNCU because we are using these two metal strips zinc and copper now how does a galvanic cell work we have here I'm showing you the two beakers the two half cells and the wire that connects the, the metal strips. Okay, I'm not showing the uh, salt bridge, so I mean, we're not going to talk about it now. Okay, so first of all, what you should know, we have the two metals, Zn and Cu2+. Cu2 plus has a strong pull for electrons, so Cu2 plus will pull the electrons, while Zn will 
uh, has a weaker pull of electrons for electrons okay so what's happening there's a battle okay and one of them will win and because CO2 plus has a strong pull for electrons so it will pull, it will win and pull all the electrons from Z M. so electrons will two electrons will be lost by Zn so here the Zn will disappear and because it lost two electrons it will be Zn2 plus okay these two electrons they will flow to the the other side to the Cu2 plus the Cu2 plus will pull these electrons and become C E as you can see here okay so as you can see here the Zn strip becomes thinner and Zn is losing electrons to become Zn2 plus and the Cu strip is becoming thicker why because the uh, Cu2 plus ions are gaining the electrons and becoming Cu as you know that ZLL ions they are dissolved in water and the metal solids in their neutral you know, Z, Cu and Zn they are in their solids so once Zn loses electrons it becomes Zn2 plus so the Z2N2 plus ion will be dissolved in water and once the Cu2 plus ions gain electrons they will become Cu and this Cu is a, so is a solid so it will will be on the sol uh, Cu strip okay now what's happening in fact here we said that Zn is losing two electrons so it, it's it's uh, becoming Zn2 plus and the process by which an atom um, an element loses electron it's be it's called oxidation so the oxidation half reaction here is Zn becomes Zn2 plus plus two electrons and everywhere every time where oxidation occurs the strip here is called the anode so here the Zn strip or the piece of zinc is called the anode type here we have the the uh, the electrons we said they are gained by Cu2 plus so this is the process of reduction so the reduction half reaction is Cu2 plus plus two electrons gives Cu and where the uh, where where reduction occurs it's called cathode okay so the piece of copper is called cathode here and the balanced overall reaction as you can see here we have two electrons on, on in both re uh, reactions so no need to multiply so we just uh, crossed out the electrons so the balanced overall reaction here that is happening here is Zn plus Cu2 plus gives Zn2 plus plus Cu so here we have an, uh, another animation or another uh, picture that shows here the the work of the electron uh, of the galvanic cell as you can see here we said the zn is the anode sorry is the anode since it's losing two it's losing an, uh, two electrons and these electrons as you can see they are flowing and the flow of electrons will uh, make the lamp glow okay so two electrons are lost by the zn strip which is the anode and oxidation is occurring we have here a flow of electrons the electrons are then uh, then gained by the Cu2 plus ions and to become a Cu okay this is reduction and this side is called the cathode okay now the the salt bridge I'm going to tell you what the uh, role of the salt bridge later on now we have this is the uh, galvanic cell that we should be done in the lab inshallah next year so we will do it in the lab and this is how it it looks like okay now we have something which is called cell notation what is a cell notation cell notation is a shorthand abbreviation 
and the mechanical reaction in the galvanic cell. So we write first the anode half cell and we write between them the salt bridge and then the cathode half cell. Okay, Hala, now we said at the anodic half cell or at the anode half cell, we have Zn is losing two electrons, so Zn becomes Zn2 plus and we put a slash or a line between them. Hala, what is Zs and what is Aq here? S refers to solid, so Zn was in its solid phase or its solid form. Now, Zn2 plus aqueous, aqueous Aq, this means that the Zn2 plus ions are dissolved in water, okay? Then we put two lines, these two lines, they represent the salt bridge, and after that we write the cathode half cell. The cathode half cell, we have that the Cu2 plus, as you can see, or as you can remember, that they are gaining two electrons to become Cu, okay? So this is the cell notation, and the electrons flow, flow this way. They flow from Zn to Cu2+. Okay, now, the role of the salt bridge. After we start functioning the, um, uh, the cell, or before that, as you can see here, we said we put the phase in the first beaker, zinc sulfate, and in the second beaker, copper sulfate. But I only showed you when we explained how how does a galvanic cell cell work. I only showed you the Z and two plus. In fact, we have SO four two minus. They are balancing the charges here. Okay, so Z and we use zinc and sulfate, which is SO four two minus. They are balanced two plus and two minus to balance the charge. And here too, Cu two plus and SO four two minus. So here we have here two neutral two neutral solutions type what happens when we start when this uh, the um, the galvanic cell start functioning we have a build up here in the anode half cell as you can see zn is is losing two electrons to become zn2 plus so we have a build a charge positive charge builds up so we have too many ions having positive charge so too many cations here so it's not balanced anymore and here we have uh, Cu2 plus and the cathode half cell the Cu2 plus is gaining the electrons to become Cu so we have a negative charge builds up here so we have too many negative charges it's not balanced anymore it's not neutral anymore so what do we put here we put something which is called a salt bridge we said a salt bridge is an inverted u-tube that contains a solution of nacl or kno3 minus the nacl as you can see here it's na plus and cl minus okay so we put them inside we put this solution inside the u-tube and we inverted and put it inside the solutions okay what do we have here at the end of the two uh, openings here? We have something which is called cotton plugs. These cotton plugs, they uh, prevent the solution of NaCl to be poured down there, you know, to be spilled off. But it allows only the anions, Na plus and Cl minus, to pass it through the, uh, to pass it through to the solutions, okay? So, we have said at the anode half cell, we have build up of uh, positive charges and we have build up of negative charges uh, in the cathode half cell. What happens here? As you can see, the Cl minus will go to the anode half cell. Why? Because to neutralize or to balance their positively charged ions here. Okay, so because we have a buildup of positive, of plus, we have too many positive charges, negative charges will go down and balance, neutralize here the solution so it will stay neutral. And in the opposite side, 
we have building up of negative charges so the positively charged ions of the salt bridge will go down as you can see here the Na plus will move down the cotton plug to neutralize to balance the solution here okay so the role of the salt bridge is to ensure we have first of all to ensure the current flow between the two compartments of the cell and to keep the solutions electrically neutral in the two half cells this is the most important role of the salt bridge okay so by this we ended our session for today please if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask goodbye